What's going on there folks? Good afternoon. Uh, just doing a quick update video here on this uh, 5th of February 2021. It's a date uh, about 4.04 p.m. West Coast time and uh, the latest quake out here on the globe is a 4.2 out there around the, uh, well let's see exactly where that's at, around the Middle East area out there in Iran about 10 kilometers below the surface for that specific earthquake you can see that right there on that map from the usgs here take a look at the activity globally here on this flat scale earth model see a high concentration of earthquakes out here along the uh, plate boundary of the pacific ring of fire over here into indonesia area as well kind of stretching into this region and up along this specific faults up here uh, not a whole lot of movement on the northern part or the uh, western or the eastern part for that matter and not a whole lot of uh, larger magnitudes there just a couple fives quite a few fives and a bunch of fours in this cluster stretching up here through this region uh, some activity to report there in the states the united states area uh, right around the oklahoma area right oklahoma tornadoes and earthquakes can you guess can you can you guys take a guess what's below all this uh earthquake activity we can check it out it's just about smell well, 30 miles 20 miles southeast of Enid, oklahoma beautiful area out there can't wait to go back out there here in a couple months and uh, do some storm chasing um and this is just uh 24 hours of earthquake activity the all magnitudes it looks like maybe a little explosion out there as well query blast um southwest of pawnee oklahoma but this cluster of quakes here were a fairly uh, sizable one for this region, 4.2 struck. Quite a bit of uh, uh, clusters there. You can see that. It look, kind of looks like California. A little swarming going on out there. Looking at about 16 earthquakes in this little swarm. The latest one, a 1.7 away from the area. Uh, so Going to have to watch that pretty closely. There is quite a bit, folks. There's quite a bit of um, you know, pumping operations, fracking operations energy operations out there all throughout Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, um, New Mexico. You can see them easily through any satellite view. Or if you're on a commercial airliner, you can visibly see those uh, very easily. Uh, taking a look at this cluster that's throughout the area. There is some pumping and fracking operations in the region. Oh, definitely within a mile or so. Uh, each one of these uh, little squares, you know, not every single one. But these little squares, when you zoom into them, <clears throat> you got a little pond and a couple tanks. Um, and some of these are houses. I believe that uh, potentially could be a ranch house there. Um, so not every single one is going to be a pumping operation, but there is quite a bit within this region. Directly underneath, though, uh, what do we got here? Looks like somebody's... It's hard to tell with this specific uh, map that's being used here on the... Uh, uh, the Chrome USGS model here. It doesn't zoom in as close as I want it to. I can't really tell. It looks like potentially that could be uh, somebody's house out there, it looks like, or some type of ranch house. There's a wind turbine. You can see the shadow on the uh, ground there. Pretty cool to look at. But as uh, far as that four pointer, that 4.2 that struck, looks like it could potentially be right around some creek area or specifically right around this region um, right here. <clears throat> I'm going to have to check that out on the uh, Google Earth and see exactly what's out there. So quite a few folks reported filling this 4.2. Struck at about uh, 6 kilometers or so below the surface. <clears throat> Did you feel the responses out here? Uh, quite a few folks out there around Stillwater <clears throat> and other areas out there. Looks like 106 reports, uh, of pages of reports there with many responses throughout the region. Not for sure what's going on with my voice. Pretty dry out here in California right now. We're not getting any more rain for a while. So I believe that's uh, what's going on there. So yeah, keep an eye on this region out here in Oklahoma. Let's see if uh, they get any more. It's kind of started off here with this uh, uh, a couple of threes there. You can see that uh, some mid-level threes and jumped up to 4.2. And it's possible. It could get larger. I 
and some other sporadic activity uh, into northwestern Oklahoma as well. Uh, zooming in to California real quick, checking out the uh, west coast and the Golden Coast. I doubt that. Um, not a whole lot of new activity to report. A little small microquake there around the Los Angeles jungle, 1.4. And your typical ridge crest aftershock sequence there. One thing I've noticed is the lack of earthquakes out there in Nevada over the past couple days there. It's gone eerily quiet. And that's in the all magnitudes too. So either they've stopped reporting them or we're just not seeing any uh, renewed pressure in that region. You guys, you know, remember that little linear sequence of earthquakes there. Um, aftershocks, I should say. Um, all throughout pretty much last year has completely disappeared. And uh, what else we got here? As far as Pacific Northwest seismic activity goes, some more activity around Mount Rainier. You can see at the summit and also outside there by uh, oh, a mile or two. We can specifically check that out uh, right now. We'll check this trimmer out here in a second. Go over here to uh, Mount Rainier from the PNSN network. See a couple of those small earthquakes there in the orange and the red indicating in the last hour, last two days for the orange circles there. We'll check out a uh, local seismograph station there. I'm not for sure if this one works. <clears throat> we'll check it out and see. If they have some data, well, man, that kind of looks a little odd there. Let's check the other day. What do we got for UTC time? Pretty close to, well, it just, it just reset, so. Um, 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 um. Not a whole lot to report on this model. This is pretty well. Uh, sensitivity is uh, well. It's turned down. It's pretty squashed, so you can't really see any type of activity that's occurring below the ground. So we will check out a uh, different station to see if we can find those earthquakes that are popping up there. Uh, this three-component broadband should work. Oh, so let's go back. We got to go back to the other UTC time, which is yesterday in that uh, specific time. And again, this one's pretty well squashed. You guys see that? It's just, uh, looks like nothing's happening. It's possible these little specks, maybe these little specks are the earthquakes that are taking place there at uh, Mount Rainier, but man, I'm not for sure why they have it squashed like that. Uh, pretty ridiculous looking. But anyway, uh, a couple mid ones there around Ashford. Is that what it's called, Ashford? 17 kilometers uh, northeast of there. But uh, definitely within the vicinity of Mount Rainier. So I'm kind of watching that 10 kilometers or so below the surface for that activity. For the most part, uh, everything else pretty quiet. Some activity moving through Montana region into the Intermountain West down into the Salt Lake City region of Utah. Uh, trimmer real quick let's go ahead and check that while we're there in the uh, PNSN network once again of course today's activity not going to show up until uh, about seven o'clock my time so we'll check out yesterday's events still going on up there underneath the Vancouver Island area folks 629 kilom or 629 epicenters of trimmer and once again with uh, quite a few magnitudes up in the upper one and even some in the two range there see a couple twos there indicating the energy uh, m energy released there by this slow basically a slow earthquake if you will but it's been ongoing for quite some time folks i've seen a uh, somebody's comment there i think it was yesterday or the day before saying uh you know it's it's good to tell people that this is common you know that it's it's you know nothing to worry about well eh, this is uncommon and the pnsn network folks have said it is in this area right here where we've seen uh, this a uh, whole bunch of trimmer over the past few days on a large scale. It's not it's out of the ordinary is what they said So we'll check and see if they have any uh, more reports here uh, Let's see here. We got to go down to the bottom. Nope Still from February 1st Okay, you see that So this burst does not look to be a typical. I'm not gonna go through this again um But, uh, you know, I'm trying to see where they mentioned that. I'm really surprised they haven't put out a new statement on it. But uh, it's still ongoing, folks. 
folks. We'll see what it looks like tonight. See if it kicks up uh, any more here in a couple hours. But uh, anyway, you know, I've been watching Trimmer for for quite a while. You know, and it does some weird stuff. Sometimes it comes and goes on a, a large scale. Sometimes it comes and goes in uh, in a certain area. But uh, this one here is just kind of just a little on the odd side, right around that region. And it's got, and I'm sure it's got the attention. Obviously, it's got the attention of the uh, folks here, the PNSN network. All right, uh, I'm just going to cut this quick, cut this, uh, do this, just a little quick video. If need be, we'll update a little bit later, depending on what the trimmer map looks like. Yellowstone National Park. Uh, not a whole lot to report here. Those. I wonder if those are the Idaho earthquakes that are showing up there. I believe they are. 3.5 and uh, a couple twos there around the Sawtooth area. Or the Sawtooth Fault System there in Idaho. Uh, where we've seen quite a bit of activity over the past few months there. Still ongoing as we speak. Uh, but other than that, not a whole lot of movement there at Yellowstone National Park. No swarming. And uh, no ma migration of magma movement at all to report. So have a good night, folks, or good day. It's still afternoon, kind of early, right? Looks like a pretty big cold stretch over there towards the east. Looks like some shivering temperatures for a lot of folks over there. So stay warm, and we will chat you guys a little bit later. Peace out.